Estela de la Cuadra's family members started disappearing in 1976, just as Argentina's military dictatorship began its brutal reign over the country. Seven relatives, including her husband Gustavo and her pregnant sister Elena, were kidnapped. De la Cuadra's father tried appealing to the head of Argentina's Jesuit priests, Jorge Bergoglio. In 1977, your father met with Bergoglio. What did your father want Bergoglio to do? Papa le pide ayuda. She told us Papa asked him for help. What did Bergoglio do? Lo que hizo Bergoglio. Bergoglio did write this short note, she said, so my father could see one of the military authorities. Did Bergoglio do anything else? No, que yo sepa. No, as far as we know, no, she said. De La Cuadra believes the future pope could have done more to speak out against the dictatorship. But others insist during the regime's seven years in power, Bergoglio did what he was able to, including helping some citizens who were about to be arrested. Francesca Ambrogetti is co-author of The Jesuit, a biography of Bergoglio. Hay muchos testimonios. There was much proof that he helped people who needed help, she said. For instance, people who wanted to get out of the country to get out. But that's little comfort to Estela de la Cuadra. His inauguration is tomorrow. How do you feel about him becoming pope? It's not my pope, she said. It's not my religious authority. I think he is leaving behind many open wounds. He owes us an answer because he had all the power. He owes us that. In recent years, then Cardinal Bergoglio led the Argentine Catholic Church's efforts to apologize for its failure to speak out more forcefully against human rights abuses. Bob? Thank you so much, Elaine.